Yo, what's up world and welcome to another hybridly brilliant squad builder this time using the 4321 formation a formation that I have not used a lot in this year's ultimate team um and I don't know what the reason is last year I used it quite a bit simply because any other formation with wingers didn't really work out and if you wanted to use wingers you really couldn't get them involved in the attack this year left mids and right mids do get a lot more involved that's why you guys see me using formations like 442 um, and the 4411 and and the 41212 etc because of the new attacking intelligence that EA added you guys will see wingers such as left mids and right mids will make runs for you so I was kind of shying away from the 4321 but went ahead and decided to use it and let me tell you guys it's a very fun and effective formation at that there is one difference though when I play this formation I actually played on the defensive tactic and not balanced usually I play on balance but because this formation does not have a central defensive mid, even if you put a CDM at the CM position here, it's still not the same as having a pure CDM on the team uh, in a certain formation like a 4-1-2-1-2. It just it doesn't work out the same. So... Um, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, it's a formation that I think you have to play on defensive. And on top of that, your left back and right back stay put if you do that. So it works out a lot. Now, it is a very counter-heavy formation, so you will be able to get your opponent on the counter, especially if he does make a mistake. If you intercept the pass, you can literally get him on the counter with ease. So if you guys like counter-attacking, it works out beautifully in the 4-3-2-1. But if you also like maintaining possession and get some 1-2 passing, you can do that with this formation. It's it's very effective at that but the only thing I will tell you guys if you do want to do sh slow build up plays with the 4-3-2-1 make sure that your striker has high dribbling and I found that out the bad way because I actually use a striker that does not have high dribbling that's more of a tank in this formation and it was a mistake um, and I'll get into that more after I show you guys the team so let me just go ahead and show you guys the team and then I'll talk about the players and how they played so I'm just going to go ahead and go through the players and we'll go through the prices and everything and we'll We'll do that uh, right now. So in goal, we have the overpowered Joe Hart. Got him for 29,500 coins. Again, I'll talk about the players shortly. Let me just go over the team. At the left center back position, we went ahead with Salvatore Bocchetti. Very, very good center back. Got him for very cheap, 1,000 coins. Right center back position, we went ahead with Company. Got him for 43,000 coins. He was probably the second most expensive player on the team. Right back position, we went ahead with Richards, who is uh, very, very cheap right now. Now he was going for about 10,000 earlier in the year, but right now he's at 1900 coins. Nothing to complain about. Left back position, we went ahead with Domenico Criscito. Um, he doesn't have the best of defensive stats, but I'll go over that in just a bit. He goes for 1400 coins. Left center mid, center mid position, went ahead with Axel Witzel. Uh, four star skills, four star weak foot, and he goes for 1100 coins. Very cheap. In the middle here, we've got Mvia who is also very good. Keep in mind that it's his transfer version here uh, in the Russian League. He does have a French League card as well. This one goes for 5,300 coins, but that's because his default position is the CDM, and I bought him as a central mid, so his price was a little bit higher. Um, you'll probably be able to find him cheaper, though. Right center mid position here, we went ahead with Kabai. Very well-rounded central mid. Went for 750 coins, very cheap, no complaints. Right forward position, you guys probably could have guessed it. It's Ben Arfa himself. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot, dominant left foot. Went ahead, got him for 2,300 coins in this formation. Left forward position, went ahead with Eden Hazard. Very, very good player. And his price is very cheap now compared to what he used to go for. 60,000 coins, used to go for about 120,000. So uh, well worth the coins. And uh, he's the most expensive player on the team. So you guys will probably be able to make this team, most of you guys. And the striker we went ahead with Dembaba and we'll go ahead and talk about him first we got him for 1100 coins now if you recall before I started showing you guys the players you guys remember that I told you guys if you want to do slow build up play and start playing one two passing that you need to have a striker with high dribbling and that's exactly what Dembaba does not have he's got 77 dribbling you might think that's enough but let me tell you guys he turns like a tank because he is a tank he's very strong he's good in the air he's got a great shot don't get me wrong you know don't get me wrong, he did play well for me, but he was better on the counterattack rather than the slow buildup play because he is an outlet pass guy and as a striker in this formation. He, he drops back a little bit because of his medium-medium work rate. 
and he's a player I can feed the ball to. But here's the problem. As soon as I got the ball to him, I couldn't really do anything with him to get the ball to someone else, especially to one of my wingers. So I found myself losing possession every time I got him the ball. And that was really my fault because he's not that type of player. I think he would fit the 4-3-3 way better because you can cross him the ball. He's big. He's strong. He's very, very strong, actually. And he can push up, push off defenders at ease. But he's not the type of player to, you know, sit and weave through defenders. So if you guys want to pick a striker, I would pick a striker that is, that's got a higher dribbling. Don't worry about the pace so much. Worry about how well they can keep possession of the ball if you pick a striker. I would have used Torres to be honest with you guys but I just felt like I overused him on a lot of my teams so I felt like I want to do something new you could also go with Morales as well um, but just decided to go with Dumbaba probably wasn't the best of choice you guys see the stats here real quick it was 11 games played with him six goals not the worst ever but definitely not the best uh, my wingers scored most of my goals here you guys see Hazard with nine and Ben Arfa with four so most of the goals were scored with my wingers, although Dembaba did have more goals than uh, Ben Arfa. But most of the goals were really rebounds and stuff like that. So uh, with that said, I would definitely go with a different striker. Now my defenders. Oh, man, do I have to talk about my defenders here? Um, this was a team that I did not think would be defensively rounded. I actually thought I would concede more goals than any team I've made. But let me tell you guys, this back four played tremendously together. And I don't know what it is because you look at Bocchetti, you will think that he's probably not the best of center backs. He's got the pace. He's got the 76 pace on a center back. That's plenty. But you'll see his heading and defending. You'll think to yourself, eh, you know, it's not that great. He'll probably be decent, but he's on steroids, man. I don't know why he's like I I don't know what it is everything that I would not choose in a center back I like he's got not not a great work rates he's got decent heading you know decent defending but he plays amazing very very good center back he did transfer to a different Russian club I don't know which one so this is his first card that came out if you guys do want to use him make sure you pick the right one if you make this team or else it won't get nine chem you guys will see that everyone is actually on nine chem that's a bug real quick one second let me fix that there we go everyone is on nine chem even has Hazard should be on 9 chem, I believe. Yep, everyone is on 9 chem. And um, if you do make this team, make sure you get the right players. As well as Mvia, he did have a French League card, as I mentioned before. This is his transfer card. That's why it's a little bit more expensive. But yeah, my defenders were amazing. Richards, also let me talk about him. He's one of the players that I like to call a center back right back. Now, what do I mean by that? If you look at his stats, um, in real life, you want to have a left back and right back that help you on the attack, that have good passing, etc., etc. On ultimate team, that's not always the case. You know, that's not always the case. This time in this formation I decided to go with at least one right back that has the center back stats so if you guys look at his defending his heading and his pace they're all stats that you would like to have on a center back right you know these these aren't the perfect right back stats obviously because if you look at his passing 69 passing not great you look at his dribbling 72 dribbling not great at all look at his shooting 51 shooting you know as a right back doesn't really matter that much but again mostly that passing and dribbling it's probably not the best to have on a right back having it that low but defensively woof on another level his heading is crazy especially on corners I didn't really concede any corners which was awesome with this team uh, everyone's got a good amount of height I think Domenico Crescito, Crescito is the uh, only short one here and I forget how tall he is six foot and he's the shortest oh, actually no I'm sorry Richards is, Richards is short at 5'11 but Crescito he's the he's the more well-rounded left back he's got the higher passing higher dribbling um, but obviously his defending and heading isn't up to par with the rest of my defenders, but he still played well. He's got great pace, great strength, was able to intercept plenty of passes for me. But again, the the back four just played amazing. Company, I'm not going to talk about because you guys already know he's a beast. There's really nothing to say about him. And then obviously Joe Hart, probably the most overpowered keeper I've used on Ultimate Team. Hands down, hands down. I cannot there were some saves that were crazy I don't have clips at the end of this video because this team I used in division one so you guys will see this team uh, in staying in d1 probably in about two days so keep your eye out on that there will be plenty of games you guys will see this team in action so definitely keep your eyes out on that uh, I would have added the goals and, and all that stuff to the end of this video but then I figured what would be the point you guys would just see them again and staying in d1 but you guys will see some crazy saves and I mean crazy saves 
that Joe Hart made. He literally, some games, kept me from losing. He's insane. And um, you, you you probably are probably like, why are you talking about Joe Hart like you've, you've this is surprising. It's because I haven't used him this much. I've used him on one other team, I think, and um, only used him for a couple of games. And then finally was like, all right, I'm just going to, I'm just going to use him. Why not? And wow. Woof, man, overpowered. I, I always went for like Loris, Julio Cesar, etc. for my teams because I don't really use a lot of the Man City players on my teams. Um, and I, I couldn't really use them for chemistry purposes. So finally I used them and he is overpowered. I don't know why I, I mean, obviously I knew he was overpowered last year on Ultimate Team. Uh, I shouldn't say overpowered, but very good. He was very good last year on Ult Ultimate Team, used him quite a bit. Um, but this year he's even better than last year. It's insane how good he is uh, on this game. My midfielders, we'll go ahead and talk about. Obviously, Mvia plays as the central defensive mid. He is a default CDM. His heading is not the best, but the people around him, they they're fine. They they uh, they're able to maintain possession by winning headers in the air and all that good stuff. But uh, as far as defensively and interceptions and his pace, it's it's perfect to have him as a central as a central mid in this formation. So uh, no complaints about him whatsoever. Axel. V Axel Witzel is also very, very good with four-star skills. 71 pace isn't the uh, paciest of midfielders, but that's completely fine. You don't really need pace in your midfielders in this formation. Uh, but one thing is I do want to try it as an inform eventually. It was for going for 50,000 coins. Didn't want to drop that much on him, but we'll see in the near future. See, see how much he goes for. Maybe he'll drop in price, but he's got very well-rounded stats exactly like Kabai, who I'm going to talk about real quick. Whoops. Just click there. We're talking about Kabai. Kabai's got, I've used him on plenty of teams pretty much to match up with Ben Arfa for the most part, but he's just got balanced stats and he's got amazing free kick stats at that. You know, he's got perfect stats for a central mid. He's got good pace, decent shooting, decent passing. Everything's decent about him. He's not a player that, that will wow you, but he's not also a player that will disappoint you. So he's a player that will do just the right things to, to satisfy you. You know, he'll do just the right things to satisfy you. And, um, that's all for him. And as far as my forwards, you guys have heard me talk about Demba already. Um, Hazard, obviously you guys know. The reason why I like him so much is not his pace, not his shooting, not his passing. It's his dribbling. People with high dribbling is just so good this year on Ultimate Team because you're able to turn smoothly. You're able to do whatever you want on the ball. And event, you know, at first, this team was actually not like this. This team had Hulk over here with uh, Witzel uh, to the right, and I matched him up to get 9 chem. I forget how I actually set it up, but I had Hulk here, and he doesn't have as high dribbling as Ben Arfa. And, um, you know, despite Hulk having more pace, I... I I preferred Ben Arf over him because of his dribbling and because because of his five star skills. So um, that's a stat that I really enjoy for forwards this year is that dribbling stat. So next time you guys make a team, try to try to pick players with high dribbling and see how it goes out for you. Because really, it, it it's maybe it just fits my play style a little bit more since I like doing a lot of ball rolls and and turn quickly and stuff. But it really works out for me. In any case, guys, I know this was longer than it should have been. 15 minutes long just talking about the team, but I'm sorry if I bored you to death. With that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hybridly Brilliant. This is a three-league hybrid, I believe, that we got going on. Oh, two-league hybrid. It's a two-league Russian league BPL hybrid that we got going on. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you guys enjoy daily FIFA content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Man, I mean, what else do you got? gonna do you guys all have a good one i'll catch you guys tomorrow with a new episode take care later